Hi, it's Sarah Levis from Girl with the Cane, and this is the video post for Annette Corvo interview on Dr. Phil on Friday, April 13th. It's 5.30 where I am, and I've returned to the blog today to update on the Annette Corvo story. Annette Corvo, in case you don't remember or haven't heard, is the mother of Jeffrey and Janet Collins, two adult children with San Filippo Syndrome. They have severe physical and intellectual disabilities and have been institutionalized for decades. Annette Corvo on Dr. Phil. For those for whom Dr. Phil still hasn't aired today, or for whom today's show appears on Monday, Dr. Phil is interviewing Annette Corvo today. The segment uses quite a bit of footage from the 16 by 9 segment that the Canadian Association for Community Living, and I, for that matter, found so unbalanced. Since Dr. Phil tells his audience regularly that he reads the tweets that people leave him, I took the liberty of leaving him one, telling him that Canadian disability advocates were particularly upset by how one-sided that piece of reporting on the Annette Carvo story was. Dr. Phil handled the interview and the ensuing debate between a lawyer who felt that Corvo should have the right to end her children's lives and a mother who definitely felt she should not very well. He pointed out to Annette Corvo that she was making assumptions about what Jeffrey and Janet could and could not feel and experience, and what their decision would be about continuing life as they were. He said that he would not want to continue if he was in their place, but that they couldn't know what Jeffrey and Janet were feeling about it. I was happy to see that he was supporting the rights of Jeffrey and Janet, who cannot speak for themselves. But I'd been paying attention to the statements to which the audience responded with applause over the course of the interview and debate. As Dr. Phil asked people to raise a hand if they thought that parents should have the right to end their child's life in a situation like Annette Corvo's, I felt sick to my stomach and it turned out I had good reason to. 96% of the audience raised their hand. The mother who had been involved in the debate said, oh no, and started to cry. How are we supposed to make the world a place where people with disabilities feel welcomed and valued when we're up against this? and I've linked to the Dr. Phil message boards where an ongoing discussion is going on about the episode. And that's it. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.